I'm Tim Moss, an associate professor of radiology at the Mayo Clinic. I am on the board of directors of the Spine Intervention Society. We're going to spend some time together talking about an applied anatomy topic, using imaging as a guide to planning transforaminal epidural steroid injections. This patient has both L5 and S1 radicular pain. We can observe here on the axial T2 weighted image that there is an L5 disc herniation which impinges upon the traversing S1 nerve. But as we look at the sagittal images, we can also see that this disc protrudes into the foramen and displaces the exiting L5 nerve as well. There's good reason for this patient to have both L5 and S1 radicular pain. Here it looks like an L5 infraneural approach might cover both the L5 and S1 nerves. There's ample fat in that position and the fecal sac is not at risk. So let's do it. 